About a month ago, I did a test with Anna, Hi. aka the noob, to see whether or not she can tell the difference between a 144Hz monitor and a 60Hz monitor. She could kind of tell the difference and after she figured it out, she got pretty accurate and me, the seasoned gamer, could easily tell the difference. This feels like 60. But today, we're gonna try out a different refresh rate. Now today we're going to be testing the difference between 75 hertz and 60 hertz. So we're going to do a blind test with Anna again to see whether or not she can accurately determine which one's which. Now the reason we're testing 75 hertz is because you get a lot of cheaper gaming monitors that have this slightly higher refresh rate. And I've always been curious whether or not that extra 15 hertz actually makes a difference. Now we're going to change a couple things about the testing methodology today, just so that we keep the hater rate at a minimum. <laughs> now basically what we're going to do is we're not going to have the fraps counter in the top left corner anymore, um, but we're still going to have the graphics card run at the kind of maximum frame rate that it runs at. So the only variable is going to be the refresh rate of the monitor. Now the monitor that we're using for this test today is still the same 27 inch um, Acer Nitro monitor. I really like it, it's really good. And then the PC that we're going to use is uh, the kind of liquid cooled build that I kind of screwed up a couple weeks ago. Now that has a 3700X in it and an RX 5700XT. Now the Nitro monitor doesn't have a 75 hertz refresh rate option by standard. Um, so I had to create a custom resolution in the uh, in the catalyst driver of AMD, but it is it is now a 75 hertz monitor. Motion blur. Oh yes, and finally we did actually turn the motion blur off in Doom. Okay, so Anna, what we're gonna do today okay. is we're gonna do a control run, which is gonna be at a refresh rate, which you don't know what it is, and then we're going to do eight runs and see whether or not you can accurately determine which one's which. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready to kill some zombies oh, and what? to try and see what frame rate. For a f yeah? Refresh rate? Refresh rate, rate yeah. Mm, to try and see what refresh rate we're at. Yeah, and they're not zombies, by the way. They're technically satanic spawn, I guess. Uh -huh. Uh huh. Okay. I <laughs> okay. can see that. So you can press resume and then start run. Wait, okay. did you just swear? I didn't. Even, yeah, I did. I didn't. I didn't quite get that. Okay, now we have the first actual test run. So, what do you think? Can you? Does huh. it feel the same? Does um, it feel different? Ooh. It feels a bit jumpy, maybe. Okay. But it doesn't freak my eyes out as much. So that feels contradictory, right? I don't know. So I would say that this is the lower refresh rate. So I would say this is 60 hertz. Yes. Not uh, as in yes, that's the correct answer. As, as in, in hertz, hertz is hertz correct. Hertz is correct. How does this feel? This feels like 75 hertz. Does it, does it feel faster to you? This feels like the first one, because my eyes are confused again. Okay. So, my eyes are confused again, but the jitteriness feels less severe. Oh yeah, I just want to point out that there's nothing written on there, like I'm not leaving the results open for Anna to see. Um, but okay, so you're going with 75 hertz for this one. Hi. Now um. it's time for test three. No, test three, yeah, I might. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so what does this feel like to you? 107, oh, 77, 75. A hundred and, a hundred, a hundred isn't an option, Anna. <laughs> you're, you're a lot more confident about your answers this time around than you were last time. Why, why do true. you think this is? Because um, last time you were very hesitant and it was a much bigger difference. That's true. Are you just more used to the game or? Mm, maybe. And I also feel like I know more about what to look for. It's 60. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for 60. Um, yeah, I'm, so I'm gonna stick with my answer of 75. Okay, perfect. Let's Can't do tell it. you why. I'm gonna say this is the 65. Is it 65? 60. 60. Okay, the slower one. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we have the final test before the reveal, and then my turn. Dun dun. Uh, oh, I died. Wow, good job. 
I was I was talking. Oh my god, look at my score. <laughs> Six hundred and twenty-five. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what do you think that was? Um, I'm... I think this was a, I think I, I think I said it was the lower one and I stand by my answer. Okay, so Anna, we have your results oh over here. And how do you think you did to just build some tension? Mm, I felt like initially I was pretty confident of the difference. And then it kind of all started melding together. Okay, well, you only got one wrong. Um, what? Yeah, yeah. So no that's, way. that's that's pretty good. Yeah, you that's got it. You got it. Impressive. Yeah. So I think um, the last so one chopped. was a bit a bit of cheating, but I mean, I think you still. <laughs> I just because I I think I said low. I can't believe I got like ninety percent. Yeah, and you think the difference is obvious? Yeah, I'd say that the difference, like, it does feel different, but after switching so many times, it was getting confusing to my eye. So now for my test, we're going to try a different game just to see if there is a variation between games and your perception of it. Um, it's, also a, it's also a very fast-paced shooter. I'm going to be doing Battlefield 5, and yeah, we're going to see whether or not I can tell the difference. And another thing that we're going to make it a bit more difficult for me here, we're actually playing a multiplayer match, so there's going to be like environmental variation between the runs. Um, so that could make it more difficult for me to actually identify uh, refresh rate changes. Um, okay, so this is the control run. I don't have to say what it is, mm -hmm. uh, but I think this is 75. It doesn't feel like 60. I think it's 60. Final answer? Um, I'm cheating a bit here because I'm taking it on. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's 60. Yeah, I think this is 75. Okay, so I th oh shot in the face <laughs> while reviving a teammate. I really hate this map. Yeah, I think this is seventy-five. I'm not sure. I, I think this is seventy-five again. Oh no, but it could be sixty. <laughs> Let me just check with the cursor. Yeah, on seventy. Yeah, it's seventy-five again. I'm gonna go with that. Okay. Um, yeah, I think this is 60. Okay. Um, I think this is 75. Ooh, being shot at real hard. I, it, it feels a little bit smoother. Um, yeah, this is 75. What's your opinion on this one? I also think it's 75. Okay. Like, it feels, it feels like... It feels too smooth to be 60, mm -hmm. but not like a huge amount. The decision? Yeah, I'm gonna kill that guy because he killed me just now, but I'm pretty sure this is 60. Okay. I think this is, I think this is 60. Okay. Okay, you can put it down or you can look at it. Oh, I can have a look. I actually kind of don't want to. Like, I, I... I won! Uh, you won? But only by one point. So you got six of them right. You got two of them wrong. Oh, okay. That's not, that's not atrocious. That's not really bad. It's not too bad. Um, but the thing is, it, it's, ve it's small. It's, the difference yeah. is a lot smaller. And the thing is, it's, it's really difficult to tell when there's a lot of variation, mm -hmm. which... Yeah, like it's it's not nearly as big as 144 to 60, but I mean obviously it isn't. It's like 144 hertz is like double the frame rate. So in conclusion, the recommendation that I would make is that if you are in the market for a monitor and there's a 75 hertz monitor which has a TN panel and not very good color accuracy, and the other option is a 60 hertz IPS panel with better color accuracy and viewing angles and stuff like that. I would still go for the 60 for the 60 hertz monitor just with the better colors because it doesn't make a massive difference. What do you, do you would you agree with that? Honestly, 75 feels a bit gimmicky. Okay, that's interesting. Because it's like such a small difference. Yeah. And it's kind of like companies trying to monopolize on the fact that people are willing to pay even just a little bit extra for like something that doesn't really make a big difference. And the next video that we're gonna do, if anybody like Alienware or Acer is willing to send me a monitor, the difference between 144 hertz and 240 hertz, uh, whether we can actually see that difference. 
And with that, it brings me to the end of another video. If you enjoyed it, do share it with your friends, like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter where I don't post a huge amount of content. And yeah, until the next video, bye-bye.